Hello, yes, it is. Kador here. Welcome to another Adventures in Random presents a Kador Kick Quick Guide of something, something, part something. I thought you said you were going to fix it on the next one. I meant the uh, next run of videos, as in the next game I start, where I may actually script out what we say so I can tighten up the jokes a little bit and all that. But since we have so many parts of this left, if I actually get through the game and get on to recording in the next game, then we can do all of that in advance, and we can just basically dick around on this one, because at this point I'm mostly just doing this one because one, I've already started, and two, I feel I owe the game, because this is a game that made me want to go, you know, I can probably do a guide better than most of these people here. Because a lot of them will just show the video and win. I expect you to stay entertained watching someone else play a video game. <laughs> Most boring thing I can do. How does it feel to be holding a real microphone for once? I'm going to Disneyland! Alright, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Go if you keep this up, we're going to put it back on the mic stand because this is very distracting. I just thought. <laughs> I, I wanted to run it for like five seconds. We can even start over if you wanted to. And we've only got like a minute and twenty seconds. Oh, let's just leave it in. Many of the guides will have you just kind of run past these flies, because flies, mosquitoes, flying assholes. I don't know whether to consider them a wasp or a mosquito, because they have stingers on both fucking ends. And they spew blood. Poison blood. Well... They poison you if you sp they spew blood, and they poison you if they just stab you with their stinger. Yep. And I died to these once, as you'll see when I turn in a minute, and you'll see that big glowing thing off in the distance that is my lost power. And I actually cut that out so that you don't have to see me shoot arrows at these guys for 30 minutes, because you've probably seen enough arrow shooting for a couple of Robin Hood videos in this guide. <laughs> that was him getting the uh, things. Yep. That was pretty abrupt. Yeah. But I did pretty well on the cut. It just looked like a little bit of lag instead of something glaring like all of a sudden I'm wearing the wrong clothes. <laughs> yeah. It was not voracious. I don't think you used that correctly. I think I did. I'm pretty sure voracious refers to appetite. Like devouring something. A hunger or consumption. What about vivacious? That's like lively. Mm. Okay. Glaring or jarring may work. I don't know about any A words, except maybe asshole editor, but... And so now you know why in the... why in our story, I do not have technology. Or talking parts when dealing with somebody who might be important. You've had talking parts. Well, talking is a relative term. So it's not considered talking what you did with Vera in the tunnels? No. That was like her telling me to do something and I did it. That was it. Well, you, you said you were recovering your friend and you actually had a conversation. I, I had... Like, 12% of a conversation. Well, you're 12% of a hero, so... Hey, I can't help that you didn't talk for the first half of our adventure. <laughs> yeah. Or at least not to anybody else. Talks to you plenty. Yes. That's right. I'm still working on that. Was that important? Not in this conversation. 
And why did you feel the need to express it out loud? I didn't mean to express it out loud. Well, this microphone probably picked it up anyway. I might have. Well. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, which is everybody except me, the look on his face was priceless. Indubitably. I, think I that, used that one right. But to say, I, I, I think you may have used that one correctly. Indubitably. We're fighting leeches. Yeah. How the leeches got this big is inconceivable. I'm not sure you used that one correctly. And I know where you were intentionally trying to bait that line. <laughs> I was hoping. But the problem was that you almost had it correct. What do you mean? Well, because leeches being this big because they subsist on blood would actually be infeasible for their diet, so it could technically be inconceivable if they were the only things this large. But as we see, most of the people around here are proportionally large compared to the leeches. Yeah. So it is technically conceivable when you have other details. But we're killing these guys because they drop green titanite shards. Even though I haven't proven that yet. <laughs> they also drop large titanite shards, and he has proven that yet. They drop the large shards in stacks of one. But every time they drop green titanite shards, it's in a stack of five. So even if you only get one from a run, it's still five times faster than the ooze hallway. Yes, it is. And they drop them more often. Yep, because I have right now the base item discovery, because I have no humanity to boost it, and I haven't been to the place where you pick up the gold serpent ring. And I still... Have yet to find a mimic to get the symbol of Arathus. I wouldn't wear that even if I couldn't get the other two. I was just saying. Because unlike, say, the Pot of Greed or the Jar of Arathus, the symbol of Arathus is terrible. Terrible! It does the exact same thing as the uh, gold... Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, only it drains your health. Yes. So it murders you instead of just letting you have it. And you can get the ring sooner than the symbol of Erebus. The only reason you'd wear the symbol of Erebus is if both your ring slots were occupied. And if that is such a problem, you're probably already too greedy of a bastard anyway. <laughs> Because, well, I can see keeping the symbol of favor and protection on at all times, because if you take that off, they'll break it. But that's pretty well the only ring that does that. All other rings you can take on and off as you need to, and so if you're, say, wearing that and a ring that allows you to wear more armor than you should, just try a lighter armor set for grinding things. Or cheat while grinding, like abusing the pathing to make them run off of cliffs. Yep, but that generally doesn't work if you're... Because they don't drop anything worthwhile for the gold serpent ring. Running the silver serpent ring during that is actually helpful, because you That's could... great. <laughs> for all those um, who have been keeping up with us so far, in one previous video, James has explained... Kador has expressed that I seem to know where every single item is. That's all right, you called me by my name previously. Yes, but the, the problem is we covered that up by saying that Jet left because his phone was being distracting. That's true. James. Obviously, James has... <laughs> You're just, you're going to be a problem today, aren't you? <laughs> Previously, Kador has said that I seem to know where every single item in this game is. That has been proven false because of one, one stinking item. 
the silver covetous serpent ring. I have never found it ever on any game. I found it both times through. Never found it. That's shocking. I know, right? On one playthrough, I'd need like five copies of the spell Muffle. <laughs> You know, in the version we didn't record, I made a joke about I'd have trouble doing a guide for the, the DLC because one, I don't have it, and two, it's pretty well designed to fuck with my build in particular because most of the stuff has resistance to divine or magic because they were kind of game breakers in the main game. And I made the, the joke about it was built for the guys wearing a fuck ton of armor and using a uh, piece of cardboard between them while hitting stuff with a sharpened stick. And I didn't realize that in this build we picked up the plank shield while just running through here. <laughs> and seeing as your sword's pretty well a toothpick anyway. Yeah, but mine's a katana. It could be a toothpick, but it's the world's deadliest toothpick. If I was using a rapier, then yeah, you could call it a toothpick all you want. I maintain it's a toothpick. It has the worst durability of every single weapon in the game, except one. And that's the Crystal Straight Sword, which its durability is only lower than the Katana's by 20. Which is actually fairly accurate. See, the technique for folding a Katana was designed to cover up the fact that they had pretty shitty metal back then, and you told it a lot of times and it'd get rid of the durability. But they weren't designed for extended battles. Like, you know those zombie movies where they're, like, beheading a hundred zombies? After about the third beheading, you'd have a fairly dull piece of metal because it's not meant for cutting through bone. It's meant for kind of bypassing through organs and impaling them that way. Yeah. Which still wouldn't really be a problem if you did it right. Right. You just have to hope that you didn't get one of the bad katanas, because due to the technique of folding, it was actually fairly common for like a chunk of impurity to get caught somewhere in the blade, and so if something hit that impurity, while most of it would be tough, it would just snap in half, because there'd be no resistance on that part later. A lot of the katanas nowadays can make up for that when they fold something like, say, titanium. Titanium's actually a very brittle metal. Uh, yes and no. It's brittle if it's just by itself. I'm just saying, oh, you know, titanium is brittle. That's, that's but, all I was saying. But, well, it's like gold. Gold's very soft, brittle, and it's actually dull and unrefined. Right. But the... You never get titanium just by itself. It's always allied with something. Mm hmm And so you can only make it harder or sharper or whatever. I find all those techniques kind of fascinating. And it's going to take me a minute to kind of find, because I was coming up here, and I couldn't see what I was looking for, because I knew about where it was. And Integer here made the mistake of trying to jump there from here. But that's what we're after. That's the Chloranthi ring. Yes. You're being very expressive now. Yeah. Would you like me to hold on while you burp? You seem to be having trouble with it. I should be fine now. But anyways, we go back up here a little ways, and I just making sure I could keep track of where it was, because I was going to go from here, and it looked like the jump was a little long. And so I decided to come up where I actually decided to jump from. Which is right where the green meets the brown. And I kind of bounce off there and take a little bit of damage, but it probably, probably a little bit. but I think it breaks my fall a little. Well, no, I bounced off the wall and I took a little damage there, and then I took a little bit more when I hit the ground. Yeah. And that's the chloranthi ring. And we're not quite done yet because I wanted to save that bonfire because that's actually a good place to run from if you're grinding leeches. And I do grind them for a little bit until I have like 20, 25. I think I show you at the end of the next video, giving you a sort of homework here, running through here, grind up, 
Titanite shards. But I just wanted to show you that one, they do drop them. It seems kind of rude to just tell you they drop and then don't show you in the clip. And I actually don't have to edit it much. I just kind of run out and like the third one I killed dropped it. And I actually finished out the the run. But it didn't drop anymore after that or I would have showed more of the run. But there is one bad thing about these leeches because pretty well anything that like has an item in it drops it on the, the corpse. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to appear and it can be hard to pick up the item off them. Like the one where it drops the the stack of five titanite shards. It actually rolls for a second before it actually appears that it's what you need. Like right here it there. starts to roll and... You can just barely make out the thing whenever it rolls in a certain direction. I don't know if you noticed it before, but I did on, a, on its very first roll, it's a faint outline. Yeah. It gets bigger after that though. And more large titanite shards. Well, that was Kedor Presents the Spell Something Part Something Quick Guide. Right. And you wouldn't know it if I presented it because I put on armor to where I look exactly like Kedor. True. I do it just just so that if we get thrown in together like this, we're unmistakable.